you've actually brought us to a, to, a, to a point where I want to make sure we get, which is the connection between the financial, the financial markets and the quote unquote real economy. And, and, and George, if I, could, if I could take this to you, you've made your, your living and a very fine one uh, in the financial markets and, and, and yet you've always ex expressed and your foundation and other work have, have expressed a sort of a great passion for its connection to the, to the lives of ordinary, me, of ordinary men and women. Um, as you see the, this crisis playing out, um, what are the things we need to do, internationally or nationally, to, to make sure that the solutions help real people? Look, I think we have to start with understanding, with a better understanding of how, finan how financial markets operate and what is the relationship between uh, uh, prices in the financial market and the real world. And, uh, and I think that our current understanding is, is inappropriate, that the prevailing paradigm of what financial markets are, what their role is and how they function, is actually f false. Uh, uh, and I'm very happy to be on the same panel with Professor Merton because I think he is sort of the embodiment of that false uh, <laughs> uh, uh, paradigm. Okay. Uh, so it, it really uh, it's sort of a great opportunity for me to have this discussion. Uh, you see, uh, the, the prevailing paradigm is that markets uh, uh, somehow reflect the, uh, the real world that uh, that uh, uh, there is some kind of an equilibrium price or markets tend towards an equilibrium, which would be uh, a, an ac accurate expression of all the opportunities and all the valuations that are appropriate to that moment. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, that there are deviations from that uh, accurate uh, uh, correspondence uh, uh, but those occur in a random fashion, or they are due to, due to some extraneous shock that the markets have difficulty in adjusting to. But essentially to. the market uh, is a neutral accounter of, of, of that. It's a reflector mm -hmm. of, of the real world, an accurate reflector that there's a correspondence. And that is false. Uh, and I put forward a different paradigm, which actually does explain uh, what has happened, why it has happened, uh, and it differs from the prevailing paradigm in two respects. One is that financial markets are always a biased and distorted reflection of the underlying reality. Uh, there's always a bias or distortion. And secondly, that that bias or distortion has a way of affecting the underlying reality. So market pr prices are not a passive reflection, but they are an active ingredient in shaping the course of events. At this, so there's a, mm -hmm. a two-way connection, uh, you know, affecting and reflecting. And I call this reflexivity. And that is inherent in uh, uh, financial markets.